So it's been three years since I've shown off my anime Blu-ray and DVD collection. Just know my collection has grown so big since then because I've bought so many different anime DVDs and Blu-rays and I thought I would finally make an update video because it has been three years and plus a lot of people have been asking me for update video on like what my collection looks like now. I will say this, the way I show off my anime in this video is not like the normal setup I have at all. Usually I have it in certain different setups. Like I have a setup for like all the stuff I really, really like that's in my room. And then I have like other stuff that's just spread out either in containers on different different shelves because like the, I you know I have too much stuff and I need to just put them somewhere but yeah I probably have a picture of like what my setup usually looks like for the stuff I really care about though but also I got to show you guys this real quick because I got this in the mail today and that is another I got the blu-ray of this this is something I've been wanting on blu-ray for a long time and of course Sentai lost the rights to this or something because they don't sell it on their website no more and this is usually very expensive but I actually got this for pretty cheap on Macari so I'm happy about that though but yeah if you like this type of content why not subscribe to the channel because I do plan on showing off more different things in my collection because it has been a minute since I've shut off my manga collection too and trust me that has grown a lot too though but yeah with that out the way let's get into showing off my anime DVD and blu-ray collection so now we're here with my blu-ray collection let's show everything else off first off we start off with Sekirei right here now this is the one that has the DVD and Blu-ray, like for season one and two, it's weird. Like I think season one is just a Blu-ray or something like that and the other one's season two. But next we have Darker Than Black. We have the Platinum series with Ava. So if you know, you know. And then of course we have the movies right here. And also we have the, the complete series with the Ava that came out like the collector edition. And then next we have one of my favorite series, 80 series, movie series, which is Project Echo. We have the first movie. We have the second movie. We have the third movie, and we have the fourth movie. Next, we have Pat Labor right here, and then we have Bacchano Blu-ray, which is a very expensive series because Aniplex won't put it back out, but yes, if you know, you know, but just know I did find this in the wild, and it was cheaper than online. Then we have Higarashi Complete Series, Beyond the Boundary Steelbook. We have... To Love Rue, which is like the complete series that Sentai had before they had the dub. We have Steins Gate complete series. That's with the DVD. Then we have Shiki, which is like surprisingly very expensive now because, you know, all the Funimation tiles are coming expensive. We have collector edition of Real Girl. We have the collector edition of this anime. And we have the collector edition of Tada Never Falls in Love. Then I have the collector edition right here of this dope series, which is Release the Spice. Now we're moving those ones over here. We have stuff in the back. We have Konosuba season one and two. We have Kaguya-sama Love is War collector edition. This is season one. This is season two. Ignore the spy family at the bottom. It was there for a reason because this is not where I normally keep my stuff at. Now this is season three. I need to get the movie because they also made a movie like version that's like this and I got to get it ASAP. Next, we have the complete collection of k -On. If y'all know me, y'all know I love k -On, so of course I'm going to have this. Next up is Black Lagoon. Of course, y'all know I love Black Lagoon. Then we have the Roberta stuff. And Now, the next one we have is A Place Further Than the Universe, the Collector Edition. As soon as this got announced, I had to get it. I ran and got this, and I needed it. Now, another series that's became very expensive over the years now is the Code Geass Complete Collection that has, like, all of the anime. I think it's, like, both seasons or whatever. But this has became very expensive you know, because Funimation doesn't want to put it out no more. I should say Crunchyroll because they won't put out these Funimation titles. So this has became very expensive. Even though back when I got this, I got this for like for 50 off Amazon. So it wasn't that bad. I mean, but for some of y'all, y'all are broke. So that might be a lot for y'all, but not for me. Here goes the movie, still book. We have Zombieland Saga season one and two. We have Cowboy Bebop complete collection. I know there's like still books and other stuff nowadays, but next we have New Game. The complete collection has season one and two. We have all of Chihara Furu season one, two, and three. We have my one of my favorite series, Princess Principal. We have the complete series right here, plus the first two movies. Sentai needs to put out movie three ASAP. Next, we have one of my all-time favorite series, Nana, the Steel Book. Yes, the Steel Book is sold out, and it costs a lot of money now. Y'all should have got it from Sentai when they first released it. Next is the 30th anniversary of Yu Yu Show that has all four seasons plus the OVAs. And look at that. That boy is sexy. Look at that. Ooh! Now, lastly, we have Rama 1 and half. I have the complete series, season 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But you see, the last three are vastly different because these were like the collector editions, and I just got these. I know recently these have all kind of came back in stock, even though they're still expensive. 
but I'll take these ones like that. And I mean, I'm fine with the regular ones. The regular ones aren't that bad to me, but yeah, that's the sad thing about this is I have these three in the collector edition while the other ones are just, you know, the normal ones, but I'm not mad about that because I got this on right stuff, super cheap, you know, when right stuff was still a thing, sadly, because you know, some reason Crunchyroll had to buy them for their trash ass Crunchyroll store, but I digress though. But yes, I have all the Rama though. Now we're back. Now a series right here we have on the second row is Beautiful Bones. This is one I really like a lot. Next one is another series I like is one of the peak slice of life anime. This one right here i need to get season three i'll get it sometime soon if you've never seen survival game club right here do yourself a favor and watch it this anime is hilarious next one i have to show is the 12 kingdoms this is an all-time classic isekai if you ever want a really good isekai watch this one right here next is another one i have to show off real quick which is no ren this is another very out of pocket why anime just know the teacher in this anime is wild very wild and then next up, we have Bloomin' to You, Tomiko's Market, Amagi Billion Park, another one I love. Another funny series is right here, Strawberry Marshmallow, hilarious series. Miyu right there is so out of pocket, trust me. She's the one that does a backflip and like she kills herself from doing it. <laughs> next is another great series, especially if you want to know stuff about the anime industry, watch Shirabako. It really will enlighten you, I will say that. Next is one of my all-time favorite series, Rolling Girls. This is a phenomenal anime where these girls go on a journey. If you've never seen this, go do yourself a favor and go watch it. Next up, we have Boogie Pop and Others, another series I rock with heavily. I love this cover. We have Boogie Pop Phantom. We have Yorman God. And then we have an all-time 80s classic, Gunbuster. Watch Gunbuster if you've never seen it. This anime is so dope. And then also, I have the movie version, too, because Sentai had the movie version. And then we have Panty and Stocking. We have Rail Wars. We have My Love Story. I love that anime. We have Argo Proxy, a very underrated anime. If you've never seen this, go watch it. If you want an anime where you're going to think a lot, this is the one for you. And then we have Samurai Champloo, all-time hood classic anime, hood classic, just like it says right there, hood classic. Then we have Prison School. Y'all know why I got Prison School. Not really. I should not say that. That is a very wild thing. I got Prison School when I was a child. I have Kids on a Slope, another really great anime, um, Just Because, pretty good, Orange, a comedy to kill, complete series, Coral Connect, really good. This series right here, um, Hamtora, I have season one. And I have season two, phenomenal series. Next one is Scum Wish. Y'all know about Scum Wish. Then we have Yamada and the Seven Witches. A series that I wish had another season because this is really good. We have My Team Ranted Comedy, just season one and two because I don't like th season three. Season three was trash to me. We have this anime right here. We have Claymore, Hood Classic. I, I wish the anime's ending followed the manga because the manga is so good. We have this anime right here. This is a pretty decent one. We have this one. We have Amagi SS, pretty decent anime. We have Gothic. We have this very wild anime. We have this 80 series right here. If you know Orange Road, pretty good series, especially for a rom-com. Then we have the movie and the OVA. And then we have this one right here. And the last one on this row right here that you'll see before we get to the back is Devil's Line. So back here we have Drifters, we have Defrag, we have Violet Evergarden Relife. We have Keijo, which is a very interesting sports anime where you know they use their buttocks, we'll just say that. We have Clan Ad, the complete series. We have Grimgar right here, which is another interesting series that's like based on I think a visual novel or something, but like it has a very wild episode. No, a very wild arc, I should say, in the forest. If you know, you know. We have Heaven's Memo Pad. This is an underrated series if you've never seen it do yourself a favor and watch it we have this one right here what is this tales of memory ef yeah this is another great series too and we have the complete series of haria right here which is season one and two and then we have the movie right next to it but yeah we have saga tanya right here which i'm waiting for some information on season two but it seems like are they ever going to put out information on season two who knows though and then we have this one right here that some reason wanted to come out so here i'll show y'all it and then next we have noir Another great classic series. And then we have Sorcerer Hunters, which is a pretty okay anime, I'll say, for the most part. Then we have Old Maidens in Our Savage Season, the anime I really, really like. We have School Live, which is a very interesting anime. It has a very dark twist, I will say. And then we have this movie right here, Versus War, which is a pretty cool movie to watch if you want, want a cool movie that's based on Mars. This series right here, Hi Maki Man, it's all right. We have This Art Club Has a Problem. We have World's End. I'm not saying that long-ass title. <laughs> we have Mushi Wushi Color, which is a very out-of-pocket anime with these kindergartens that be wild. Or these, I don't think they're kindergartens. I forgot what they are. But they be wild. And just know, she put out a bazooka. These three girls basically put out a bazooka at a policeman. So you know it's wild. Then we have Blood Blockade. Very underrated anime. I need season two. I'll get it one day. Magic Costella. Decent anime. We have this one right here. Okay, anime. Then I have this one right here, which is a really underrated anime, in my opinion, that kind of deals with people that have superpowers in this city and along with some time travel other stuff we have this one right here i think it's a romance anime and then we have noragami season one and two 
We have this anime right here, which is a pretty decent anime for the most part. We have Girls Beyond the Wasteland, pretty good anime. I like this one where they're basically making a game, I think, in their club. We have Chika, pretty decent anime. We have Land of the Lustrous, phenomenal anime. We have this one right here, which was something. This one right here is pretty interesting, mainly because it's a prequel to a manga that never got an anime, which is like, why did it not get an anime? Then we have this wild series. If you know, you know, you know how wild it is. And of course, we have High School of the Dead, and we have the complete series right there, plus the OVA that I only can show for a quick second. <laughs> and then I have High School DxD Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, and Collector Edition of Season 4. <laughs> I mainly only have this because I got this back in the day as a gift, I will say that though. So yes, now we're down to the next roll, and this one is my roll of steelbooks, as you can tell, along with movies. Now the first steelbook I have is Bell right here. I love this steelbooks, looks really good. Okay, that one wants to go right there, I guess. Next one we have is Up From Poppy Hill, a really great Studio Ghibli movie. Next one is Only Yesterday. I like the color. I like the pink shade on this one. That's another great movie. Next one is Ponyo. That one looks phenomenal. Next one is The Wind Rises. Looks Also looks really good. We have Porco Rosso. Another one that looks phenomenal. And then, of course, we have The Cat Returns. Another underrated one that some reason some people don't like. I don't know why they don't enjoy that one, but hey, they don't enjoy it. Next one is Perfect Blue. Fun fact, I used to have this on like regular Blu-ray, but brother got me this one on Steelbook, so I took the Steelbook because the Steelbook looks really good, I will say that, see? And then he even got it back, so yeah, Steelbook is sexy. Next one is Millennium Actress. This is another one that looks really good. I like this one a lot. Next one is Weathering With You, one of my all-time favorites by the one director, because I, I enjoy this one way more than your name. This one was actually really good to me. Then we have whisper of the heart another phenomenal studio ghibli one and one of my all-time favorite spirit away i love this movie my favorite studio ghibli movie next one is howl's moving castle another phenomenal one i love this one next one is the tale of princess kaguya this is one i i think i got like earlier this year because i never owned princess kaguya and then we have this one right here, which is another underrated one. This is a really good one. I got it. I actually got this one kind of pretty recently because some reason Barnes & Noble is having a whole bunch of their Studio Ghibli and anime stuff, like 40 to 50% off, so I had to snatch this up. Next one is the 4K version of Ghost in the Shell 25th anniversary. I had to get this one in 4K. Yeah, you could, as you can tell, it didn't want to, you know, stay in its thing. But yes, this is the 4K version of Ghost in the Shell. Now we can get to some of our regular looking Studio Ghibli ones, mainly because I like these covers better than the Steelbook. Like this one for Princess Mayanoke looks really, really good. Then we have this one for Nausicaa, another one that looks really good, and I like it way better than the Steelbook. Then we have My Neighbor Totoro, love this one. Kiki's Delivery Service, phenomenal movie. All, I mean, all the Ghibli ones are amazing. Then we have Castle in the Sky. We have this one right here, which is a really nice one. And this is the one where you had the girl hitting the, I forgot what dance it was. It was some stupid dance that she was hitting. I'll just say that. Then we have this one right here, Ride Your Way. This one was a pretty decent anime. Then we have a new one to edition, which is The Boy and the Heron. I really did enjoy this one. I know some people were hating on this when this came out, mainly because, you know, that's what everybody loves doing is hating. And we have this one, Blue Giant, phenomenal. We have The Deer King. We have one of the only Ghibli movies that is still in the stupid Disney format. Used to be before I got the Steel Book of Spirit Away. That's how my Spirit Away was was the Disney format. But I have Pom Poco, which is a phenomenal Steel Ghibli, which is arguably one of its most underrated in my opinion. We have Liz and the Bluebird. We have Sound You Phoning the Movie, and it's like, dog, why do we only get two things on Blu-ray? Yes, there are other Blu-rays you can quote unquote get of this series, but they're expensive. I'm not paying that. We have Paprika. We have Akira, classic series right there. We have. Your Name, of course I have Your Name. We have A Silent Voice, another movie that, you know, some reason they always compare these two because just because I think they came out around the same time. We have Wolf Children, phenomenal anime. We have Metropolis, another great series that's the old one. We have Summer Wars. Fun fact, Summer Wars is coming back on Blu-ray, so you better get it for cheap because it's going to be through, like, G-Kids, so it won't be super expensive. I know this one counts, but it doesn't count, but that's Resident Evil Death Island. I'm counting it. We have Naruto, the last movie. We have the Berserk movies right here. We have One Piece, which is like the Alabasca-like movie. We have Film Gold. And then we have Stampede. And then the last one we have is this series right here for the movies. We move the stuff out of the way now, and we're at behind the other stuff, the steel books and the movies. Let's look at what we got here. We have this series right here, which is made by the same person, made Elf and Lee. We have Love Lab, which is a very, very hilarious anime. If you've never seen this one, go watch it. It's so goddamn funny. We have Witchblade right here. We have Punchline, which is a very fascinating map of original anime, I will say. That's all I will say, though. We have Grenadier right here. Burst Angels right here. Kino's Journey, the original one. 
one. We have Ma and Key. Um, yeah, why is that like that? So <laughs> we have Ma and Key season one, season two. We have the Wasteful Days of High School Girls, which is a hilarious anime. We have this anime right here. I think it's about that guy that's like can't be a hero no more or something, so he gets like a day job. We have Classroom League season one. I don't care about season two or three because they're trash, so I would never waste money on them. But then we have K Senran Kage right here. We have this anime right here that only got one season which is weird we have that one we have seven mortal sins which honestly probably should have got another season even though you know it's kind of wild but hey at the same time they're adults so i don't care then we got the seven heavenly virtues grimgar and ash another anime that more than likely should have got another season especially because it's pretty good the book of bantora pretty dope anime i do like this one a lot we have yuri kuma i call it bear attack on titan we have death note we have flip floppers we have Blue Spring Ride. We have this anime right here. Oh, yeah, I forgot I do own this one right here. Yeah, interesting cover. We have Burn the Witch. We have this one right here. Another anime that probably should have another season. We have And Yet the Town Moves, which is a pretty funny anime because she's very kind of wild at times. We have this one right here. So this is a pretty interesting anime, mainly because the it's about like a woman whose husband passed away, but he comes back and sometimes he goes inside this guy's body that he can talk to his wife again. Yeah, it's something. Um, we have Strawberry Panic. If you know this, if you know, you know. We have Girls and Panzers. There's so much girls and panzers I low-key need to get. I'll get it one day. We have Girlish Number, which is like a... I'm pretty sure this is like a... Yeah, this is about a show that about a woman that's a voice actor along with some of her other people around her. We have My You right here, which is like the one where the demon lord and like the hero, they basically are like on good terms and they're trying to like make the world peaceful. Then we have this one right here with this one right here, which is about women that they essentially drink after work and we can see them make drinks. We have Code E right here, which is like a, I think it's a prequel to, I forgot what the anime is called, but it's a prequel to a certain anime. We have Familiar Zero Trash, Nadia right here. This anime is another one that's kind of meh. We have Bikini Warriors, which is like, why do I have this? But hey, I have it. Soccer Wars. We have this wild series right here. If you know, you know. We have Glass Lips, boring series. We have this one right here, which is like only a few episodes. We have C. Then I have this one right here. Then we have this one, which I'm pretty sure is like a prequel to another series that came out later. And then we have, we ended off with this one right here, which is an okay anime. So now we're to my role that has DVDs in it. I'll say this role is full of bangers. We start off with His and Her Circumstances. Then we have Key, The Metal Idol, which is a very underrated series if you've never seen it. Watch this series if you haven't seen it. Next, we have Gunsmith Cats. I have the DVD version of this. This is another series that most definitely should have had more, but you know, sadly, it didn't. So we have Bubblegum Crisis 2040, which is like the Bubblegum Crisis like remake that came out, I think, like what, in the 90s or something like that. Next, we have Total Crisis, which was like the final few episodes of Bubblegum Crisis, and I just had the DVD version of this. I have Air Gear, another underrated series. If you've never seen Air Gear, do yourself a favor. The music is so phenomenal. It's a series that most definitely should have had more because the manga does have more. Next, we have Gunslinger Girl, which is the complete first season. Then we have Dominion tank police if you know you know tank police if you know you know then we have daphne and the brilliant blue which is the complete series we have basically boys of the flowers or yori dango which is a very you know series that will stress you out because of some of the bs they do in here then we have this anime right here pretty good anime then we have witch hunter robin Next, we have all of Desert Punk right here. If you haven't seen Desert Punk, do yourself a favor, watch it, it's funny. Then we have Lane right here. We have the complete series of Lane on DVD. Sadly, I don't have the Blu-ray because the Blu-ray is super expensive now. We have My Bride is a Mermaid, a very hilarious anime that has so many funny scenes in it. We have Ghost Hunt, which is okay. We have Shuffle, which is uh, like kind of like a reverse isekai, I will say. We have The Wallflower, pretty funny anime. We have Corpse Princess, hit or miss anime. Speed Graffer, pretty dope anime, but it has some trippy stuff in it. We have Beck right here, all-time classic and a banger. We have Welcome to the NHK, another really good series. We have X right here. We have the Berserk 1997 or 98, whatever this one is. I think it's 97 on anime. We have the Coward Bebop movie. We have this series right here. And then we have Kite. Now let's jump down to the bottom. Now we have Paranova Agent. We have Call of the Night. We have Fooey Cooey. We have Lapis Relight, which is a series I actually really like a lot. We have Trendy 7. We have Is This a Zombie? We have Category Season 1 and 2. We have this anime right here. We have Rekka 7, the complete series, but I think there's more because you know that series has more. We have Chio School Road, Dead Man Wonderland. We have Marvel A Boy, all time classic toxic anime. We have Infinite Stratus Season 1. We have Sailor Moon Season 1 and 2. I need to get more of it. We have Bane Dream right here. We have Nagima, we have this anime right here, the future boy Conan, and then we have Bakuman, we have Honda-kun, Dog and Scissors, which is a very wild anime, I'll say that. 
We have Pet Shop of Horror. We have Freezing Season 1 and 2, Human Crossing. We have this very wild anime, too. P very private lessons. Yeah, very wild anime. Sometimes I question what they make in Japan. Um, we have this anime right here, which is Twilight something. Then we have a, this anime right here, which was something, I'll say that. And then, what is this one? Oh, yeah, this is another wild anime. The comic artist. Yeah, I don't know why I have this. Then we have this anime right here that's essentially about this guy that gets hosed by taking pictures, essentially. It doesn't really go like that, but yeah. This one's about, like, the guy that, like, he kind of turns into a girl. Oh, my gosh. Why did that just fall? This anime right here. We have this one where the girls are guns. And then we have this series right here. If you know, you know it's very wild. We have Maria the Virgin, which, which I watched, like, a long time ago back in the day. We have this very crazy series right here. If you've seen it, if you know, you know. We have Boruto, the last movie. This is the only Boruto thing you'll ever see in my collection because Boruto's trash. The manga's okay, but the anime I don't care about. Then we have this motorcycle series right here. And the last thing we have is Dragon Ball Super Part 10, which is like essentially when Goku goes Ultra Instinct and all that. And this is the only thing of Super I really care about when it comes to the anime. Once we move all this stuff from the back, we have all this stuff right here. We have season one of Classical Lawyer, because some reason they have not put out season two. We have Elf and Lee right here. We have the we have this anime right here, which is very fascinating, which is Those Who Hunt Elves, which is a very interesting anime. We're just say they get sent to another world and now they have the SA elves. And you might be saying, why am I saying that? It's essentially that because they're looking, it's stupid. This anime is stupid. I should make a video about it. Essentially going to another world and looking for elves that have like these tattoos on them that they can get sent back to earth. But instead they go around basically ripping clothes off. Like as you can see him right there of elves. That's why I say they basically SA elves. And it's like, why? And it's like, of course Japan did that stuff because they love doing that. Then we have this anime right here, which is a pretty good anime if you've ever seen it. Too bad they only put out season one. It's like, where's season two? Put out season two. Then we have this one right here. We have robotic notes. We have this anime right here. We have Control C, which is a pretty cool anime because it's kind of, you know, based on like the market crash in a way. Then we have Razafon right here, which is like something i will say we have no wing have this anime right here tokyo esp i love this anime i wish the manga got fully covered though then we have this anime right here code breaker which is super edgy anime we have season two of this anime because season one is super hard to get we have fractal right here then I have season one of this anime. Then I have all of Flame of Reco right here. Technically, I could like get one DVD that has all these in there, but hey, I just happened to get these because they are super cheap and I got them like for super cheap. And the next, I have Expo Flone, the complete series right here. We have this OVA series right here. Then we have Genshinkin season two, episode one. And then we have this series right here. That's what we have on this row is this series right here, which is just like the first 12 episodes because like Sentai put this out a while ago and it's super hard to get the rest of the series. Sadly, like trust me, it's very expensive to get some of the other DVDs, but at least I got the first 12 episodes though. So we have the first collection of Wolf Rain. I'm missing collection too. I'll get it one day. We have this series right here, Magical Shopping Arcade, which is a phenomenal series. And if you've never seen it, do yourself a favor, especially because this is an all-time classic Gainax anime. We have this one right here, Shanger La. We have his Records of Lotus War. This is just straight up just the series and not the OVA series. I got to get the OVA series series we have get backers season one i will begin season two soon we have this anime right here we have this series right here which i have the part one and the part two and then we just have one random dvd of this series right here i will begin the rest sometime soon ish i'll say then we have the afro samurai movie i need to get the series then here goes genshin season one just like the first dvd and then we have blue seed right here then we have blue submarine number nine we have this anime right here which is cosplay complex we have school rumble right here season one we have school rumble season two part two we gotta get season two soon then we have the ava rebuild series on dvd and then we have the second movie then we have the third movie on blu-ray then we have the fourth final movie on blu-ray then we have this trash ass series right here loki ragnarok as we move to the bottom we have all of dragon ball right here we have the dragon ball movies we have all of dragon ball right here and you know like the series that they put out like this i like these ones kind of a lot so we have that we have all the movies right here then we have the trunks and bardock like steelbook thing they put out back in the day the funny thing is i got this at a flea market a very long time ago and i've just had it ever since and then of course we have gt right here and we have the three movies right here we have um battle of gods of course and then we have resurrection f and then we have the Broly movie. I don't, and this is like the one that reflects too. I don't really care about the, like the new movie, the superhero one. So that's why I don't have superheroes because to me, the movie was kind of meh though. So yes, the final row and the final stuff that we have is Blood the Vampire movie. We have this Resident Evil movie. We have this one right here, this Idol one, this Tenchi movie. Celestial Method was actually a really good anime. If you haven't seen it, it kind of reminds you of Anahana. We have Comet of Lucifer. We have Blood Lad, a really underrated series, I would say. We have this one right here. We have Gantz, which honestly, Gantz should have got more. I know they got that one Netflix series 
series too. We have Wake Up Girls. I just have season one because I haven't put out season two on, you know, DVD or Blu-ray. We have the X movie because like earlier I had the X series, but I had the movie too. The Pumpkin Scissors. We have this anime right here. And then I just have one random disc of this series. I kind of nearly low key get the rest of the series. I just have one random disc that I bought on accident, I will say. Then we have this series right here. Rumbling Hearts, which is a very wild, toxic anime. And we have this series right here, I, Yori, um, Ashi. And then, like, the funny thing is, I have, like, the same series right here within a box set. Like, this is the complete series, and this one's just, like, one of the seasons that's in here, so it's pretty funny. Then I have this one random Gundam series right here that has, like, all the episodes through the four discs. And then I have a whole bunch of random OG Naruto, which is, like, six through nine, which I'm pretty sure is, like, all the stuff I like, which is, like, the... I think this is the end of the Orochimaru stuff, but then we get some Itachi stuff in, like, the final fight. And then some of the last things we have is... I'll just take them off to show y'all that we can see them. We have Black Blood Brothers right here. We have this one right here, First Hand Squad, which is an okay movie. And we have this series right here, which I'm pretty sure this is just like the movie, but then this also has an OVA series or something like that, though. So yeah, that's my anime Blu-ray and DVD collection. I would say that's everything, but actually I had two things that came in the mail today, and I have two other things that are coming later this week. Now, the two things I got is this one right here, Tokyo Majin. I got the complete series of this on DVD, finally. This is a series I've been wanting on DVD for a while. Now, the next one I got is Dance in the Vampire Bud. This is another one I've been wanting for a while, because I've seen this, like, pictures of this for a long time. I just never picked it up but i finally had the chance to pick this up shout out to todd's toys for sending these to me i saw them on their website they told me about them i scooped them up bought them and they sent them to me but yes i'm happy i picked these two up though but yeah now i want to show y'all some of my favorite dvds and blu-rays that are in my collection these are some of the ones you already seen if you watch the video but i just want to show some of these off i guess in a little bit closer detail because these are some of my favorite ones in my collection though now when it comes to some of the dvds i own one of the ones i really like a lot is tank police now this is one i'm happy i have on dvd mainly because this one is kind of rare ish the find for the most part because if you do find this most of the time it's expensive but i actually got this for a pretty decent price but i'm happy i have this one in my collection because if you know about this series this series is a really dope ova series i wish we could get like the actual other series on dvd i most of the time i only see it like on vhs but i hope one day discotheque media grabs this and the other series and puts it on blu-ray or dvd i hope they do because they do be putting out a lot of stuff and i'm just like dog get tank police we need this on blu-ray this is one i want on blu-ray now when you look at the inside it just has a cool little inside like that i like the blue disc on that so that's another reason because like blue looks really good but yeah this is one of the dvds i really really like now another one of course is gunsmith cats i'm happy i have this one on dvd because this is another one that can be pretty hard to find but i actually got this one for pretty cheap though so it's another one of my collection i'm just happy i have so these are the two ova series that i really really enjoy and happy i have these two now another one i guess i should grab is one that's always back here in my videos because i do have this one back here in my videos for a certain reason because i actually do really enjoy it a lot and that's magical shopping arcade i love this box set i love the way each of the dvd cases look so that's one of the reasons i love this because they all look good and plus this is a series i really really like a lot like it's one of the best ones on gynax it's one of the ones that's like super unique and it makes references to a lot of other series so that's one of the reasons why i really enjoy this series a lot but yeah i like this box set because yeah it's not nothing crazy it's super simple but like it shows off all the characters and that's why i usually always have this in the background because this is a box set i really really like a lot but yeah, let's move on to some of the blu-rays i like now the first one i want to show is the project echo i really love all the project echo movies and i'm happy i have this on blu-ray but yeah that's one of the reasons why it's one of my favorites because i love the project echo movies and i'm happy we finally got them on blu-ray all four of them i just i'm just showing off the first one because mainly because i didn't feel like bringing all four of them but yes i love this one yes it's a basic kind of blu-ray and all that ain't nothing too crazy with it you do get this like new cover i will say and then they had like the old version of like if you remember having like the vhs and stuff this is how it used to look that's one of the things i do like is these ones are pretty cool when it comes to the project echo ones i'm happy we have these hopefully in the future we can get like the ova series because i think there was an ova series if i remember right hopefully we can get that on blu-ray too someday now next one is the rama one and half blu-rays i'm happy i have these now i'm just i'm literally just showing off the movie and ova one just because i don't feel like grabbing all them damn rama ones because there's a lot of them but yes all my rama one and a half blu-rays i'm happy i have those the crazy thing is i used to have all of it like on dvd and some of these just on blu-ray but then i got all the blu-rays mainly because right stuff anime had a sale and i picked up all the ones i needed on blu-ray so that way i could have everything on blu-ray but yes this is another one in my collection i'm really happy i have i love the rama one and a half i wish i had every single single one like in the limited edition collector edition like style like this but i'm not mad because i have everything on blu-ray so i'm not mad about it now another one that i'm super happy i got that i'm so happy i pre-ordered this when i first got the email from sentai and that is the nana steelbook 
I love this steelbook, especially because this steelbook is actually worth a lot of money now. But yeah, I've seen that this actually is kind of worth a lot now, especially because like it was limited and like this boy basically sold out as soon as it became live because like everybody that pre-ordered this was the ones that got this. Like Sentai did not have this on their site for any like regular time because usually they have steelbooks on here there that will be up for pre-order, but most of the time like you could still get it. But this one, that boy sold out. Everybody that pre-ordered basically sold this bitch out. So now you only can get it like in the regular style, but I'm happy I have this. But I I will say one of the only issues I really have about the steelbook is that if you look at this, you see how there's two discs right here, but there's this all behind each other. So you have to, in like the steelbook thing they have right here is kind of hard to get them off. And most of the time it feels like you're about to break the disc. So that was one of the things I can't lie. I did hate about the steelbook. I will say that's the only complaint I really had. I wish they would have added like a middle piece right here because their beyond the boundary one has like a middle piece, which they could have added just to like separate a little bit better than what this is, or they could have just added better things on the inside. That way you could get them out. Cause it does kind of feel like sometimes you're about to break these when you're taking them out. And like when I was doing this, I was like, no, please don't break. But yes, I love the Nana steel book. Like I'm happy I have this over just like the regular, you know, just a regular little deep Blu-ray. I'm happy I have the steel book, I should say. Now another series I'm happy that I have is my Kaguya-sama Love is War Blu-rays. Even though, you know, this is very expensive because they're like 115, sometimes 99. But also it depends on like what membership you have on Crunchyroll. You can get these a little bit cheaper than what they actually are sometimes, or you gotta wait for a sale. Cause, cause you know, Aniplex, sometimes they don't be letting they shit go on sale. Like even if you have a membership, so you gotta wait for their actual quote unquote sale like during like the crunchy roll shit but yes i love that i have these because these are all so good and like i love love is war it's one of my favorite series so i'm just happy i have all this series on blu-ray and i was so happy when they announced that these again on on blu-ray and then they announced season two and three just know i pre-ordered all these because i needed them because i love the series i do gotta still get the movie because they never even told me that the movie was getting like you know a blu-ray i just happened to go on crunchy roll one time and i saw it there and i was like wow when did this get this but i will get it eventually it is kind of expensive for like the movie it's like four $49 and I'm just like dog I don't feel like paying that just for a movie now the last thing I got to say I'm so happy that's in my collection is a place further than the universe limited edition I'm so happy I have this because I've been waiting for this to get on blu-ray for so goddamn long ever since I first saw the anime when it was airing as a seasonal I was like dog I want to own this series and it took them so goddamn long to finally put this out but I'm so happy I have this this is one of the things in my collection that I love so much though but yeah these are some of the things in my collection that I really really like but yeah if you enjoyed my collection let me know in the video let me know if there's any of these blu-rays or dvds that you own let me know if there's any in this video that you want to own one day just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed the video why not like if you didn't you can dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yeah like i said earlier i do have a blu-ray and another dvd coming in the mail so technically this is not my whole collection maybe if they come in at time i might add them at the end of the video or something like that but yes just know i'm always going to be picking up stuff a lot a lot because i like i said i have 500 plus probably by the next time y'all see a video it's probably gonna be like a thousand plus knowing me because i continue buying random anime dvds and and blu-rays and like not even counting because technically i do have like a vhs i could have shown because i think i have a few vhs that have anime stuff but i just didn't feel like showing in this video though but yeah this is my collection who knows maybe in another three to five years make another update video but who knows though but yes i'll see you guys next time bye mm -hmm.